What you doing? So you're gonna leave me in this room by myself already? I have to get some people. I forgot how heavy this camera was. That's all shaking and all. Hey one. KJ crew. I was counting you in. Has it been that long? Hey KJ crew, welcome back to another episode. Guys, it's been so long, but we're back and tonight we are staying in a haunted hotel in Donegal. Super excited about it. There's some creepy stories, but I think for now we are going to go get something to eat. I'm uh, definitely going to have a nap. Yeah, because it's only like what, 7 o'clock or something. Yeah. So let's get on to the video. I finally got her up out of her bed. I firstly, please excuse the way I look. I didn't straighten my hair. I feel like absolute ass. I think I'm coming down with Oh, So many jokes that I could say, but because you're sick, I'm not going. We're going to rally. Kim's going to rally. I'm ready to go. The hotel we are in, we told you, has a couple of creepy stories. Now, where did we find these stories? TripAdvisor. When we first looked on to do in this hotel, didn't we only find like two? Two. But since then, there has been more stories added on TripAdvisor. As recent as 2021 and 2022 this year. Back in 2014, a family stayed in room 334. Now, tonight we are actually in 239. Yeah. Okay, which has another story that Kim will tell you after. So, a family came, stayed in room 334. First of all, the bathroom door closed by itself. At the time, they thought nothing of it, so went about their day. The kids then were unusually unsettled that night. They went to bed and had not laid down long when the TV turned on by itself. They got up, turned it off, it immediately turned back on. This happened a couple of times, so they just unplugged the TV. They then lay down to sleep, and the father said he felt someone like get in behind him <coughs> in the bed, and he felt like the pillow go down, you know, behind him. And he also like heard noise uh, at the bedside table and that was their kind of experience if they, I don't think they got much sleep that night. So going forward to 2017, the room was 331 and it was two brawlers that were staying in this room. One brawler was fast asleep and over on the other bed, the other brawler woke up and seen what he described as a woman, but it was like a blue light kind of, uh, a woman hovering over his brawler's bed and he, he literally wrote, it scared the life out of him. It, he never experienced anything like that. He woke his brawler and they didn't sleep much either. <laughs> okay, so going on by the 2021 and in particular the room we are currently sitting in. Two sisters came and stayed here. One of them doesn't drink at all, which the person was really like keen to mention in the review. Uh, they seen a figure of a woman. Mm -hmm go from one side of the room to the other um, and I think they said they just felt the presence of someone when they were here. Uh, also every time they left the room they made sure that the lights were all off and that the room door was closed but when they came back their lights were all on and the room door was ajar. Now there was no maids or anything uh, coming into the room at the time. Eventually when they left they said they stood outside the room and were saying like goodbye to the spirits or whatever and the door slammed closed. Yeah which is why I chose 239 for the, to stay here because it was the creepiest story out of the four. I, well I, I kind of disagree I think that family with like the guy somebody getting into bed with him. It was between that and this but I chose this because it was a more recent. Yeah okay we did do a bit of digging we couldn't find anything else historically about the about the hotel 
that's not to say there's nothing here we might not have dug into it as much as an, like an actual historical researcher would but we wanted to come here because uh, we've never done a hotel before and you know these are real life stories on TripAdvisor yeah which brings us to the final one this year there's another one 2022 oh, so February of 2022 room 218 the person's fiance seen an old Victorian styled woman uh, but the person writing the review never seen the woman but she heard the woman talking in the bathroom was the story of the brothers that was a Victorian woman as they well didn't say that, they didn't say that that was Victorian well, they just said okay, that it was a woman. woman so there's definitely been a figure spotted it seems to be a female figure well one of the reviews doesn't say I'm just going to assume that that's what it is we are going to just, I think, jump right on. We're going to film ourselves sleeping overnight as well, which I hate because the night vision footage is such a pain in the actual a-hole to go through. But doing it for you, we're going to go take a wander, like around. Yeah, and I'm not putting my shoes on. Put your shoes on? Nope. Also, there's like a blood stain on our... It's not blood, I don't know what it is. But there's a blood stain. Hi. It sounds like we're not going to get much sleep tonight anyway because it sounds like there's party central out there. I know, we're right on the town. We're on the town. Right. So we're going to try and not look conspicuous. Will we just do a loop of this floor? Yeah. And there, most of the stories are from this floor, right? Two is from this floor. And two you're two from, is from the top upstairs. Floor. Okay. If there are any spirits that reside within the walls of this hotel, guide yep we come here we come here what was that it was like a tap from over there yeah it was what is that roaring there's a wild out of roaring i'm gonna go have a wee look don't go there okay and that's where the tap was it was okay also guys there's a mirror there, and there's a big mirror over there, so we're going to try and mirror scry on later on. Yeah. You said the word guide. Maybe you're going to guide us around this floor. We don't know. Um, so we're going to inconspicuously walk the corridor. <coughs> oh, that light scared me. Where's the other room? It's at 2.18. Will we try and find it? Oh. I need to go. Maybe they can't. Our ghost can't leave that room. Okay. We'll we'll be back. <laughs> to your team. Does it? Yeah. Okay, it's this way. Does not. Yeah, it does. It, they just have oddly put their. <laughs> can't believe you're walking on your bare feet. Yeah. Are they my socks? Yeah. Clean. clean. Are, yeah. your, are your socks clean? Guess what that cover door reminds me of. Don't say it. The Shining. Hi. <laughs> this here uh, shut itself off.
just lying wide open. No, this, the, I was looking at the map, it goes round in a whole big loop. Uh. Book. Book. No, I need to go on and buy the book. Definitely not. Look at that room. Imagine we had come back and our whole room was like a mess. And all the beds are dropped upside down. Show them now what are we set up over there. Yeah. We've a wee. We've all our butts. Hey, it's so much colder in this room. Like mm. freezing cold. I know I'm sick. And that's like probably why I'm cold, but like abnormally freezing. Yeah, it is quite cold. But I, I think, I genuinely think that's a heating problem. Yeah. Because it, that, that radiator isn't on. I'm wondering, should we say? Right, this is on now as well. Okay. We are calling out to the spirits that might still reside in this hotel. Particularly this room. We've kind of already introduced ourselves. But my name is Jason and this is Kim. And we're wanting to find out your name and your story. So we have loads of wee objects dotted around this room. We have some cat toys, uh, two cat toys on the bed with a uh, cat toy there and one here. If you go up to these, that was you, that was wasn't me. it? That was me. If you go up to this and put your energy into it, it'll light up like that. If you go near this, this will light up and also make a noise. None of this stuff will harm you. In What's that? Any way. What's that noise? I don't know. Right, I'm gonna put on ghost tube. It's been so long, I forgot where it was. <laughs> keep, I keep hearing noise over there and I don't know if it's just like room noise uh, that happens or if it's like paranormal so we all uh, I just keep it yeah that's why hello mm, that's my side of the bed you've discovered the wee ball do you want to put your energy on it again just reach out and grab hold of it really really tight and your energy should go on that and, and make it light up. And then that way we can ask you questions and you can light it off for yes. You know, if you want to say yes, then you can light it off. Did you say what uh, that device is down there? I was just about to in the cat toy went off. Uh. So we have this wee black looking box here. And um, if you come near that, your energy, you can use your energy to find a word on there. Maybe you can find your name. And I put that down to like, uh, just room noise. Because uh, that was what, three or four times now? Yeah, it's been, it's been quite, quite often. Unless you want to light that up if it's you. That's SLS. SLS. It might be picking us up. Do you think? Don't know. It'd be really weird if there was like a stick figure walking. I know. Like across the room, like like the two women. Do you remember the two women that stayed here? We are leaving a night vision camera recording overnight. So we hope to, to capture you while we sleep. Not capture, capture. Like Yeah, capture a glimpse. Can you 
to find your name on here. Maybe we should be in the dark. Like complete dark. I might go stop and start that file really quick. Do you want to come over and sit down on the bed here? Anywhere? Night. Night. At night. Turn out the lights. You, you just say there now. Or they're going to come and sit in the bed at night. I remember the story of lying yeah. behind the man. That's okay, but just lie behind Jason. No room. Not me. Do you want to... Uh, turn out that turn light. Out the lights. Maybe they want it like more night. And put the torch on the top of this. Yeah. Maybe I'll get the torch first. Good idea. Go and do my favorite. Grandfather disagree. Grandfather disagree. Weird. Go on. Uh, bring me over my water. Okay. I need a wee bit of water before we start again. Evil. Evil. Oh. It's just good suddenly, really. I really did. started spurting out words. You forgot to turn the light out. Oh. I, I, I thought you were scared. Can you turn that light on then? Sorted? Yeah. Okay, you said a few words there, which were evil. Disagree. Disagree. Grandfather Knight. Can you maybe be a wee bit clearer? The last two words that I said was evil feeling. Evil feeling? Yeah. Do you get an evil feeling off us? Because it's not our intention. Like, we're, we're not graveyard. that... Graveyard. Graveyard. Is there a graveyard not far from here, you know? Really? The abbey. That old abbey. I was Actually, about. Yeah. we were talking about that off camera. Yeah. The abbey. Do you, do you come from the abbey? The abbey graveyard? Yeah, What'd that say? Poor, per. Per. I don't know why I said it like poor. Like he <laughs> says it. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> were, were you per? Or are you per? Do you hear it? That's different. Bite. Flight. No, bite. Oh, bite. Oh. Please don't bite us. Please don't bite us. Did you follow us around the hotel? When we walk. Three. Three. Is that how many people are in this room right now? Including you? Lighting our cat toys up means yes to your questions also. When you said three, did you mean there's three people, including us two and yourself, in this room? We were like kind of watching a movie. Kim, like did you said you were feeling watched. Yeah. There's a bus outside. I was feeling watched from the door area, like way over here just. Um, obviously the TV's there, we were watching a movie, all the lights were out and I, I just, it was like ages under the movie and I just felt watched from over there. Mm. Was that you that I felt watching me earlier? To your side of the bed too. I know. <clears throat> Please don't keep going. Keep going. I, okay, we will keep going. Please don't bite us. <laughs> that's the only word that's kind of bothering me right now. <laughs> oh, I not evil. Well, we got that before. Potato, potato. We're paranormal investigators, and we we just want some evidence that there is something after death. Greetings. Hi, yeah. Hello. Can you can you maybe tell us your name? We told you ours. My name's Jason. This I'm is Kim. Louder. Louder. You want us to be louder? You were just talking about just. Yeah, it's really odd. Well, I can't. I can't talk too loud because there might be other guests here in the hotel. 
We're going to give you an opportunity to talk through us in a wee while. Maybe you want to be louder. Right, we'll be quiet. Can you make a really loud noise in this room? Be really, really, really loud. Annoying. Sorry. Okay. What'd that say? Annoying. I'm sorry if I'm being annoying. Jason, do you want to do your mirror scrying? I'm a wee bit scared, I'm not going to lie. You can just do it in that one over there. Yeah, that's the one I'm going to do. We're going to do a bit, of, a bit of scrying. What is scrying? How adorable is my husband? Why? What He's just he? so cute. Okay, so scrying's like a really ancient practice of like looking like into objects. So it's not just mirrors. We're going to use a mirror in this instance, but it's not just mirrors. And it was used for like, you know, divination and seeing the future. And yeah, stuff like that. I'm going to see if there's any. I'm going to see if there's any. I'm going to see if there's any. What is safer then? I heard you. I heard you over there. Feel free to walk about. Sorry, you're explaining SLS. I mean, more spraying. So basically, you're like focusing uh, your mind. That, that was a heater, that was a heater. So basically, you're like focusing your mind, which can help you see things. Are we ready then? Yeah, but you need the night vision camera and then all other lights need to be out. I'll keep this on just in case devices go off while you're getting it. Okay. So really oddly, right? I'm going to just turn this on again. But when I looked at that, it, it, it was like it was picking up someone on the mirror. Which mirror? The mirror I'm about to set at. Excellent. Now this, I had just stopped it and I was just moving it. It might have been just the moving. I'm trying to like debunk it, like see what it was. Yeah, like shadow um, or... Huh? Like a shadow or... Oh, there it is. Is it on the mirror? I think it might just be... The ref like the reflection of then the... Like it's behind you. Um... Of those curtains. Oh, uh, right. I think. Leave it in the comments, guys, below what you think. So, scrying is completely new for us. We've never done it. I've never done it. Um, we've never even done it, like, off camera or... The only thing similar to it that we have done is Bloody Mary. <sighs> but that's not... It's really, not scrying, it's right? not in, in any way, like... Ah, so, uh, cat toy. That I'm so happy I'm still recording. And it's my one on my side. Yeah, but it's behind me. I know. So if there is anybody out there that has any tips or tricks to this, let us know in the comments. But I'm just going to do what I think I have to do. But I'm going dark now, lad. Wait, I'm not, not even ready. <laughs> I nearly did all that without without recording. <sighs> Baby, I need to stop. You scared? Hi. Do I turn the light off? Like, I don't, I don't know if I was, was I moving? Could you see me? I could see you. No, you weren't moving. I could see. The person in the mirror, like me, right? But they were like swaying. swaying a wee bit like that. So I was like, "Am I swaying?" And then I could have swore that that I saw saw me blink. No way. I no, I don't know if I actually blinked or not. That is. But terrible. I had to stop. Like I was actually terrified, and I was only in there for a couple of seconds. It is the weirdest thing I've ever done in my life. Adam. So weird. Can you have to have a go? Right. You really have to have a go. It's really freaky. But uh, also, I think 
No, I don't know if it was like just the outline of one of those light light shades. Uh-huh. Um, but I thought I seen like head and shoulders right behind me. Not not behind me, they were back they were back up against that wall. So that's so that's the weirdest thing I've, I've like I think I'm I've ever done. To try it. Yeah. Ready and ready. Talking, it looks like it's talking. No, it looks like the, the bottom lap's coming up and closing and opening like it's talking. What will I ask? Are you me? It shaked his head, no. Are you good? Turn the light on. Oh, that's intense, Erica. Isn't it? Hey, I'm not even joking, but my whole face morphed into my granny's face. I, I like I, I don't say this at the time, but I could have swore I was looking at my dad. I was looking, at one point. I was looking at my granny Maggie. My whole face changed. Or was, like, was her. or like me when I was older. I like, oh, that's that's crazy that we both experienced the, the same thing. Hundred percent, and it looked like my wife was like, like doing this here, like gibberish fast, and then <clears throat> whenever I says, "Are you me?" It was like my head went like this. But I didn't move, obviously. Did it respond to my question? What did you say? Do you not even remember? What? I said, are you good? I don't think it responded to that. Maybe it can't. Maybe maybe when you're scrying like that, that the it person... the person. Uh, okay. Did you see anything in the room? No. Was that Mine's, okay like that? Yeah. So my experience went from very scary to very sad. Really? Aye. Uh, what, in what way? Like, I was terrified because I seen my mouth moving and talking. Mm -hmm. And then whenever I was saying, like, are you me? And then I seen my head move to the side, saying no. Nah. And then, like, I was scared the whole time. And then I, I nearly cried, like, whenever I seen my granny's face. Like, it was a really unsettling experience. And I was scared. But I feel like doing that isn't, like anything bad I think I feel like I feel like the person in the mirror you said it as in it said it wasn't you but I also don't think it's bad either I think it's like some way of like seeing the future and stuff because that's what they use scrying for do you is remember for clairvoyance. my phone about the girl in the mirror no don't tell me it was a creepy yeah uh, please don't no no I remember that that terrified me for weeks maybe we'll put it on no, thank you. This is my dozen roll dance. Work it. Uh, so these are what's called dozen rolls. I don't know if you've seen these before. But basically, I'm going to hold them out. And I'm going to ask you to... Well, Kim's going to ask the questions. And she's going to ask you to cross them over for a yes answer. And push them apart for a no answer. And then we might ask where in the room you are. You can use these to point to where you are. Okay. So my first question is, the number three came through the spirit box. Did you mean three people, including us? So one of you. Yes. Thank you. Guys, we reset them every time. Just to give, like, your arms a wee chance as well, so that you're definitely getting, like, positive results. Or not positive results, but accurate results, like, rather than it maybe just be in your arms. Are you friendly? Uh, 
that's a no. That's a no. Are you the person that sent the word bite through? Yes. Yes. Are you the woman dressed in Victorian clothes seen before in this room? No. I'm having a really weird experience with these thousand walls. I can really feel feel the energy through them. Yeah. Like it's it's absolutely insane. Are you a male entity? No. No. So it is a woman, it's just not the woman wearing mm -hmm. Victoria clothes. Victorian clothes. There is another woman that was seen in uh, like a blue light and yep. it was the two brothers, one of the brothers seen that woman. That was in this room though, was it? No, it was in this room. Okay. Are you the woman that the two brothers seen and you have a blue glow and you were hovering over the brothers bed? Yes. So why would she be mean? I'm trying to think like how you could find that out. Like what could you ask to find that like, out? Like are you mean because you're bored? Yeah, like like questions like that, yeah. Okay. Are you being mean because you're bored and there's nothing else to do? No. Are you being mean because you find it fun? Noises all over the place beside you as well. I know, I know. Yes. Why aren't you down in the two... That's not a question for the dozen rods. Right. But why are you not down in room 218 where the story was from? And why did the ball go off at my side? I have a question I want you to ask. What? Ask if she gonna appear to us tonight. Jason. Are you gonna appear to us tonight? Oh thank God, it's gonna be no, isn't it? Oh yes. Thank you. That's good. But she's the one that said bite. Are you the only spirit in this room? No. Okay. The other spirit, is it a child? No. Is the other spirit friendly? Yeah. Okay. Is she going to come visit us tonight? Do we know it's a she? Are they going to come? Sorry, shouldn't have said for a minute. Are they going to appear to us tonight? The friendly one? Yes. I have a question though. But it's how you like... I have a question about that. Okay, great. Which is going to be so creepy. I am going to hate you. So you said you're going to appear, but are we going to see you? Because it could be when we're sleeping. Oh, SpaghettiOs. We are. 
Hello, I want to ask her who, or both, or... Well, the other woman said we, she wasn't going to appear to us. No, who, between me and you, is going to see her? No, baby! <laughs> or both? Right. I'll ask both first. Okay, so the friendly spirit that's going to appear to one of us tonight, or both, is it both? Are both of us going to see? Yeah, who you are. Oh, Betsy. That's a no. That's a no. Then it might change. That's a no. Okay, you ready? Are you going to appear to Jason? I want to go home. <laughs> you had to ask. This is what we do. This is what we do. You want to see a ghost? You... Oh, I, 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 you can show yourself on camera and then whenever we look through the footage at the house, then we'll spy you. But don't appear in the flesh. Is it going to be me? I might only see you. I have a question. Wow. Where in the room are you going to be? That's right at the bottom of the bed, look. It's your side, look. And that's where the cat toy is going off as well. Right at the bottom of the bed on my side. Yeah. I'm scared. It's okay, baby. I don't want to sleep with the it's lights friendly. on. The spirits that's coming tonight is friendly. I know, but like... Oh, wait. Okay, so one of the spirits that is talking to us is not nice, right? Yeah. And one is friendly. Does the friendly one come to protect from the not nice one? So the friendly spirit, do you come to protect people from the not friendly spirit? Yeah. Was it the friendly spirit that was watching me earlier and I felt your presence? Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Cause see, whenever I did feel being watched, I yeah. was I wasn't scared. Yeah. Uh, is this the friendly spirit that we were talking to? Yep. Cool. Um, and you come to protect people from. It was like a chew, as if it was sneezing. Bless you. Can you tell us your name? We would love to know your name, so we can thank you. Can you maybe tell us what age you are now? Just stay. Just stay. We are. We're staying the night. Kim was joking. She is going to stay. Can you tell us what age you are? Dream. Maybe you're only going to appear to Kim in a dream? There is. I'm really sorry. I'm not really able to understand you at the minute. Can you tell us your name? Night. Maybe you can't remember your name? Four. She is. Bad. Okay. Do you know the name of the bad woman? It's her room. Okay. If it's her room, why do you come and protect people? Here. Okay. Did something bad happen to I feel so weird here in my life. Are you True. Okay. I was trying to say, did something bad happen here to her? Maybe, maybe that's why she's bad. Did you just touch Kemp? 
For real? Can you touch Why me? Why are you here? We're just here to communicate with you and find out your story. If you Kim. Kim. Dead. I know you're dead. Maybe when you're dead you can't, you know, maybe you can't remember your name because you're Four. dead. Four. What does four mean? Because. What? what do you mean by four? Kill. Die. Did four people die here? All of them. Go on. Four spirits here? Burnt. Beneath. Was there. Go. Was there a fire here? Look. Look where? What, what happened here? Second one. Shh. It's anger. Are you angry? Weird. I know it's really... Yep. Okay, I know it's really, really hard. I'm trying to understand. Red. You. Yep, okay. Do you want me Red. to stop? Door, bed, this, belief. I, b I believe that you're here. Do you want me to stop? Push. Is this n the, the not nice woman now? Yep. The conversation kind of changed. It kind of got a wee bit more. I don't no. know. No. Yep. You don't have permission to touch us. Move. Do you not want us to stay in this room? Look at my shoes. Where are your shoes? Bed. Jump. Something about the room. Do you like to jump on the bed? Night. Yes. At night? Nah. You should. I should jump on the bed. Go. I, I don't know if I'm fit to jump on the bed. I've got a sore knee. It sounded like a female voice saying your daddy's name. It says Kevin. It's me, Jesus it's Christ. me. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> We're going to try and get some sleep, but we're going to leave the night vision on while we do. And hopefully catch the nice lady appearing to Kim. Okay, uh, have fun watching us sleep, creeps. <laughs>